One resource that you can use while taking your online test is the online calculator. Now, when you click on the calculator, you will see this view. It is a basic um, scientific calculator um, that you can do uh, most of your basic functions with. Um, however, what we're going to talk about today is the graphing calculator portion of the calculator. So if you click on the graphing button, you notice it's going to change the view of your calculator. Now you can still do your basic um, calculations as you've done before under scientific, except now you have this little section of your calculator that was added. We are in the expressions part of the view. Here's where you put in your function, um, or it could be your inequality, um, depending on what you're doing. In one of the videos, I will show you how to use um, the graphing calculator to answer a question that has inequalities in it. Um, so let's put in A function we have 3x plus 2 we're not going to look at the window view um, because we can manipulate the graph to help us with that let's look at the table here you have a table of values so when x is negative 5 then y is negative 13 and the reason for these other y2 y3 and y4 is if you have more than one um, equation or function um, to put in your um, table to look at. Um, you can forward, go further down on the table or further back, um, depending on what you need. So just use your next or previous buttons. And the part we're going to look at is your graph. Your graph, you have several options here. That's the reason we skip the window button, because now if you need, you can zoom in on your graph. You can zoom out. When it's on scroll, you can scroll up or down your graph as you need to, depending on what you're trying to answer or the question you're trying to, trying to answer. Excuse me. If you hit the trace button, notice that there is a little blue dot, and this is on our line. And notice that you now have an x equals and a y1 equals. So that tells you where exactly this blue dot is on your line. So it's at the point 0, 2. And as I trace up or down, notice that the values change. If you need to be a little bit more specific or um, get in a little closer on your graph, you can do that. And when you do that, your values will then become um, smaller. So that will be helpful as well. Now, let's. I'm going to hit reset, and that's going to clear out my graph. It took out my equation. And we're going to look at a quadratic. So we have x squared plus 2x plus 2, or excuse me, plus 3. So we have this quadratic in our formula. We go to our table. Notice our values have changed. And you can graph through there to look for patterns or look for information that you need. Um, and then we have our graph. Now, um, I'm going to scroll up a little bit. Um, so here we go. Um, we can see our parabolas opening upward. Um, if we hit the trace button here, same thing. It's going to start here. We see our point is at 0, 3. Um, if we trace, we have our vertex of negative 1, 2. So depending on what you need to do with your graphing calculator and how you have to answer the questions, you do have some options. Um, in some other videos, I will go through some sample questions from the practice test that show you how to use your graphing calculator to answer some of those questions.